Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome to the channel and make sure, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to the channel. Now if you've clicked on this video, you're probably in one of two positions. The first position is where you're very well prepared for the BMAT and you're just doing a little bit of healthy procrastination, seeing how you can maximize your score with the last seven days of BMAT preparation. The second position you might be in is where you're a BMAT crammer. And don't worry, you can still do extremely well, it's never too late until after the actual exam. So in this video I'm going to go through my top three tips to cramming the BMAT. There's only seven days left of BMAT preparation and this exam without a shadow of a doubt is a very big one. So I'm going to right now give you three tips to help you cram the BMAT. And these are some of the tips that I used in order to get into Cambridge University. So my first tip for cramming the BMAT is to go through the Section 2 Assume Knowledge Guide, reading the entire thing, specifically the Chemistry, Biology and Physics sections more than the Math section, and any bits that you seriously don't know, to just memorize. Set aside 5-6 hours for this, just one day of the next 7 days, and just go through it and do this. This is all the content you will have in BMAT Section 2. And you need to go through it. It doesn't matter how much schoolwork you have, whatever you have else going on, make sure you do this no matter what. Have this as your number one goal within the next seven days. Now my second tip in order to maximize your last week of BMAT preparation is to go through as many BMAT past papers as you humanly can. So this is the section one papers and section two papers specifically. Do as many as you can, even if that means you don't get to mark all of them, and even if that means you have to rush some of them and do them in less than the time allocated. Ultimately, the more practice you get, the better you're going to be at BMAT questions. And try and mark at least some of the papers and see where you're going wrong. But again, you only have seven days, and if you're really panicking, you just need to get in as much practice as humanly possible. Now, my last tip, and although it sounds cliche, is to not destroy your sleep schedule or mental space by trying to cram the BMAT. The BMAT is an important exam, but it's not the be all and end all. If you have a decent UCAT school, you may also be able to get into UCAT universities. And even if you don't, there's only so much you can improve in seven days. Obviously, the sky is the limit, but again, it's not worth absolutely destroying your daily schedule and destroying your mental state for trying to do well on the BMAT. So make sure through all the BMAT preparation, which, in my opinion, you should prioritize above any other academic work, which means asking your teachers for extensions and things like that, if necessary, for homework, is make sure you're being focused on BMAT preparation, but also make sure you're relaxed. Now, another thing I just want to say with Section 3 is, since there's only seven days left, don't spend an excessive amount of time on Section 3. Maybe write one essay time, then plan two to three essays, but as long as you can write an answer that answers the entire question in good grammatical English, you should be able to get a 3A to a 3.5A, which is usually good enough for most universities. Now, with such little time left, something that can be really useful is an online BMAT course. Me and my friend Hamza at the University of Cambridge have created SigmaMed. The SigmaMed BMAT course consists of over 60 videos and 30 work examples and costs only £25. It's an online BMAT video course that you can replay whenever you want at your own convenience and it can be found on over at sigmamed.co.uk so if you're trying to cram the BMAT, head on over to that site and this course can definitely help you, in our opinion, really improve your BMAT score. So yeah, that's how I would personally cram the BMAT and I hope you guys all do extremely well on your BMATs and I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you're subscribed because after your BMAT is over, I'll have lots of great content coming out on interviews, not only Cambridge but also other universities and MMI style interviews and things like that. Thank you for watching and make sure you're subscribed.